52 Acre Homestead. Today we're going to give you a garden tour. We left off with um, Kayla putting in the garden fencing. We had loads of compost delivered and we spread that and since then we've been able to plant a couple things so let's show you um, around and we'll get started over here with the onions. So over here, I have planted five rows of um, onions. I've planted three rows of yellow and two rows of red. So if you come and look closely, you can see a couple of them have come up. They're starting to sprout green. Um, here's one, if you can see right here. So they are starting to come up. We had a lot of rain and it washed away some of the dirt from the onions. So some of them you can see and they're exposed and I hope they take. But that's what I've got planted so far. And then I've got two rows of garlic here um, next to the onions. And none of those have come up yet, but those are still fairly new. So hopefully those will come up soon. And it is spring garlic. So if you're wondering why I planted garlic in the spring, it's spring garlic, not fall. Um, next over here, we're gonna go ahead and plant our potatoes. Um, we usually cut them and um, put a couple eyes in each hole. Um, sometimes people have planted a full potato before, so I'm not sure. Leave us in the comments what you think works best. Uh, we have red Pontiac and Yukon Gold potatoes to plant. Um, those are great for storing, so we'll be able to use those through, throughout the rest of the year. Um, next over here, we're gonna do multiple rows of potatoes, but then we'll go ahead and do our um, Brussels sprouts and don't, I don't think anything else is going to go on this side right now. Um, we were able to get in our cold frames. Um, I could show you those over here. And we got boxes. Um, Caleb made boxes for our flowers. So we put four bo or two boxes in each corner. And so we have eight boxes that we're going to do um, cut flowers so we can cut them and make flower bouquets. Um, hopefully those do really good too. These are our cold frames. Um, Caleb actually made these and so we put compost and some um, fire ashes in there um, and hopefully once I get some lettuce seeds and um, things like spinach and parsley and oregano and all that, um, that's what's going to go in these two cold frames. We have one over here as well if you want to show that. And then we have a trellis here. Um, right as you come in, as you can see, this is the entryway. So right as you come in, we have a trellis here. I'm gonna, I'm not sure exactly what's gonna go on it yet. I've thought about some sweet peas, but I've thought about doing some climbing flowers here as well. That would be really pretty when you come in the garden. Um, on this side over here, this is our main walkway, but then we have a whole nother side. This will be things like tomatoes, um, sweet peppers, bell peppers, jalapenos, all of that and we're gonna do cucumbers in the back on another trellis which we don't have that in yet um, and then we also still don't have around the base of the garden we're gonna do the small wire so it'll keep out um, our chickens uh, any rabbits anything at night that might want to come up and come in and eat something so those uh, those are the couple things we have left to do we're slowly working on it and um, it's coming together so I'm really excited to see what else we can get in here so this is how we're laying out everything. Um, we use these strings to keep everything straight. This is the center aisle. So we're stopping the rows at these um, two side strings right here and over on that side. And then um, we're using the strings this way to keep our rows straight and um, be able to tell how far apart we're spacing things. So that's really nice um, that we have that. Here we go planting the Kennebec potatoes. I decided this year to keep them whole instead of cutting them. Last year we cut them and I would put a couple eyes in each hole, it was about four. But this year we had so many potatoes that had sprouted, I decided to just go ahead and try to plant them as a whole and see how the turnout is on this year's harvest. Here we go speeding it up a little bit. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my shovel, I'm just using it as a basic guide because the potatoes were supposed to be four inches deep and a foot apart. So I'm just laying it down and kind of just eyeballing uh, 12 inches.
am just turning the soil. I dampened it down so that way I could plant some lettuce in these boxes. I went ahead and started with some black seeded Simpson and then I put Tom Thumb lettuce and I also planted Paris Island Romaine in this box. I'm excited to see if these sprout. Because these seeds are so tiny, you can just lay these on top of the soil and press them down so they have full contact with the soil. I just kind of use my shovel and pat them down and then I scrape a little bit of compost over top of them. That way they will be in full contact with soil and hopefully they don't get buried too deep where they can't fight up through everything. for a really quick watering. We're expected to get some rain later this week. Hopefully everything will get settled and it'll start growing. <laughs> 